Hey guys, what is up? It is Enzyme here, and as usual, Iron Banner is back. So I'm going to try and go through all the sweat to show you what I'm using. Now, this time around, I'm actually using a bit of a mixed up one. I'm using Doctrine of Passing, of course, because what else would I use? It's got an amazing role on it. Um, I'm using Plan C, Tormod's Bellows, Kingslayer Shell, and then I'm using the Spectar stuff except for the Wolfwood Mark and the Armamentarium. Now for my build, I have Simmering Flames, Explosive Pyre, Melting Point, and Incendiary Grenades. Oh, and Forge Master, because, you know, extra hammers. Now, allow me to explain each exotic and my build. First, let's start with my build. The reason I chose Melting Point is because if you melee somebody, it makes it so that you do a lot more damage to them. And by a lot more damage, I mean a lot more damage. It's insane. I was using Melting Point one time during Golgoroth, and they said that mine alone, my um, Alpha team. my Melting Point alone was causing them to do a fair amount more damage to Golgoroth. And then somebody bowed, and then we were like, wow, this is an increased amount of, you know, um, let's go over here. It's an increased amount of, you know, damage, which is always nice. Oh, look at how close he was, though. Um, we might lose this one. Yeah, but it's okay. Um, so yeah, Milk and Pump will do Oh, heck no. Get over here. Mmm. This dude is camping our spawn now. I know where you are. Burn. <laughs> and that's why he used uh, incendiary grenades. Because if that hadn't killed him, it would have burned him to death. Gained the lead. Now let's see. We're going on to... Alright. Now, onto the incendiary grenades. Um, the reason I use incendiary grenades is because, well, they burn. A lot. Oh, this is more like this. Okay, come on. Um, anyway, it burns and it allows you to see, basically, um, you know, who's where. Um, for a limited amount of time, of course. The burn isn't as good as it used to be because of the nerf, but I still use it because it's pretty darn good. Oh wait, how does snipe me? That was ridiculous. Now, the reason I use Forge Master is, well, it's more hammers. It doesn't burn because, and I don't use it because of the burn. The reason I don't use it because of the burn is because of the fact that it, the opponent doesn't always stay in the, um, in the circle or whatever. They don't always stay in the sunspot. Now, Simmering Flames. And this is a doozy. Because of the changes to PvP, I very rarely use um, my my Sunbreaker ability until Heavy Ammo spawns. Because I want to get guaranteed kills. This guy's sniping. Look at him. Um, and because I want those guaranteed kills, I save my super for later. I'm running around with a shotgun. Get out of here. Um, and Simmering Flames, it makes you recharge twice as fast. Now, if you got to look at my intellect, no, not my intellect, my discipline, which is for grenades, it was 100%. It was all the way charged. Ow. That hurt. Now, since it was all the way charged, my, my grenades recharge within 25 seconds. With Simmering Flames, it's twice that. And as you're about to see, Simmering Flames is about to come into effect. And look at how fast that grenade is. It is insane. Dang. And then, of course, the armamentarium gives me a second thing, which means I'm recharge even faster. I see you. Oh, I went up the stairs. Uh-uh. Nope. Because I got an incendiary in there. And because of that, I got an assist, of course. But what you're mostly going to want with Sunbreaker is you're going to want things that burn. A lot. Now, of course, because of the burn, there's a bit of an issue. There's an issue of the fact that... Ow. 
there's an issue of the fact that basically you can burn yourself. Now, it's ridiculous because your grenades can... Well, I mean, it makes sense that your grenades can do burn to yourself and to your... Uh-uh, get out of here. But it makes sense. Oh, this guy was sniping. What the heck? That was weird. Okay. You're falling behind. Submarine Flames has such an amazing ability that almost nobody uses because of the fact that- Uh-uh, get out of here. I see you. I know where you are. Ow, that's still- He still managed to kill me. Yeah, we're losing this match, but I don't really care. I just wanted to show off my build. And then, of course, Plan C. Now, normally I use um, Heavy ammo inbound. feedback fence for this Plan C because I use it in a defensive capacity. Are you, you're kidding with this. You're bad with Callisto. Who's bad Heavy with Callisto? Ammo uh -huh. available. Crap, I didn't use my ability in time. Oh well, more grenades. Oh gosh, stuck me. Oh, I dodged that. Of course, you can always use it when you're a bit of when you're in a bit of a tight pickle. Um, your super, that is. However, I usually just keep it around for the simming flames perk because honestly, that's better than any. Oh, I know where you are. Mm. <sighs> He's camping. Surprise. Let's watch him burn it. Come on. That felt very satisfying. Alright, now it should be, my melee should recharge and put it for a second, but what I'm really stressing here is you're going to want to go with mostly intellect. Intellect is going to be one of the best things that you can get with a Sunbreaker with this build. Because you're going to be spamming grenades left and right so much, it's going to be like you're a sun. And see, I still managed to burn. That is a lot of burn. Look at that. <sighs> but oh well, you know. So that's the end of this, basically. Five um, minutes just remaining. Kind of ranting on about how good this build is. Um, now, it, you're also going to want high intellect and high. high not just high intellect. It's just because once you get your super, you, you're just, everyone's done. You're just done. The enemy Ow. Almost won. Luckily I didn't manage, luckily my friend did manage to throw a seeker and, you know, managed to get him. Alright, I might just use my super here in a second. I'm getting desperate here. Oh! Hey, at least I caused them to burn for my allies. That's another thing. The burn can help your allies as well. So, you basically take a support role. Then. Oh, snap. Oh, snap, we're tied. Yeah, people are using super weapon right now. We've got one more kill. A single victory doesn't win a war. But it's a good hey, start. I got Iron Gauntlet good though, work. which is nice. And I leveled up, which is even nicer. And also, I managed to um keep my golden bounties from last time round, so I still have to collect my golden bounties from this time. Amazing. So let's see what we get. We got an 8.3 kill streak. You kidding me? 
which isn't bad, but it's also not good. I typically get around 1.25 to 2.6 KD with this build. Mm, however, it's not a noob to elite build. You have to get good with this build. And as I demonstrated, some people have been able to kill you easily, but I get a guaranteed five kill streak every time. You just gotta follow you just gotta adjust your play style a little bit, and then you also gotta, you know, get good with it. So, until next time, this is Enzyme Funtime signing off, and I will see you next time. That is a lot of experience. Holy cow.